Katherine Goldberg. I'm an active member of NAYGN. I'm joined here by the president, Bobby Ashworth, and Anna Pisani. A little less than a month ago, there was an announcement that Pilgrim Nuclear Power Station would be closing by June 2019. Shortly after, there was an announcement that Fitzpatrick, also located in the Northeast, would be closing as well. As members of the industry, the closing of different plants impacts every single one of us. Before we share our opinions about how the closures affect us, I'm going to turn you over to Bobby Ashworth, president of NAYGN, and he's going to give you a little bit of our background. Uh, thanks, Catherine. Yeah, NAYGN is the North American Young Generation in Nuclear, and basically we're just a, a group of nuclear enthusiasts um, who are early in our professional careers. Um, we 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 span a, just a variety of industries and uh, utilities. And you know, deep down, we all uh, believe that there's a place for nuclear in our world, and we want to see nuclear technology thrive and flourish. Um, so, you know, as an organization, we we're, we're taking kind of personally, you know, some of the, the the shutdowns and and kind of loss of nuclear generating capacity, you know, as a as a little bit of a, a negative uh, thing. And you know, we just you know kind of want to get together, and talk about, I guess, what's going on, and you know, what. What, what are things that we can do as young professionals, you know, moving forward? All right, so we're going to start off by talking with Anna. And one of the things Anna is mm -hmm. going to talk about with us is, you know, how when you close these plants, how does it affect the local area? What is the impact on the people that live in that area? Thank you. Thank you. Um, my name is Anna Pisani. I am a nuclear professional. And after seeing multiple plants in the process of closing, some of them are more advanced than others. Uh, it just comes to show how different areas are truly affected. A couple years ago, we announced uh, the close, or it was announced that the close of one of the nuclear power plants that was operating in Florida, uh, in that area where the plant currently is, a lot of people lost their jobs or were relocated to other positions within that company. Uh, we're talking about that an average nuclear power plant, depending on the size, will employ from 700 to 1,500 employees. Again, this is all depending on the size. So when you go ahead and decide that we're, that plant is no longer going to operate, a lot of people that live close in the area, that have their kids in the area, purchase properties, um, invest for their personal growth, will now have to migrate to other areas, whether it's another nuclear power plant or just remove themselves from the industry per se. So areas that might have a certain flourishing environment and a financial sense or that it will have a great educational system because these people start leaving, um, will see their economies affected. So you see a, a massive exodus from the area very early on in the process. And that's how locally those kind of uh, situations when you close a power plant will happen. Thank you, Anna. I think you brought up some points that really hit home for all of us. And, you know, it's part of the reason that we're here today.